Hey, the keys. Andy Lip here about another advanced OBS tutorial, and we're looking at volume sliders. So, like you can use with a Go XLR or something like that, a big piece of hardware, you can fade your volumes up and down on stream. But I'm going to show you a nice software way of doing it. I'm going to split this video into three different videos. We're going to look at this one, and this is using Leoran board. Then we're going to look at natively inside OBS, and another one that is going to look at a touch portal variety of this. So you can control your stream audio a lot better and make it sound more professional okay so this is handy for so many different outcomes if you just want to turn down your mic imagine being a radio presenter where they could turn the music up and down it just sounds a little bit more professional so stick around and we'll learn how to do it make sure you do like the video and also subscribe it'll mean the world and help support the channel when we get to 10,000 subscribers there gonna be a special stream where I do a big content clinic and help you guys out with all little stuff and you never know I might give away some stuff as well so put your rock over the stone let's go So there's quite a few ways to do this inside of Leoran board and I will be creating a really comprehensive audio mixer that you can control and download. It's just it's taking me a little time to, to create that so I'm going to show you the basics of how this works. If you do want to support the channel press that join button down below from $1.99 a month. It doesn't just help me, it helps the whole community because it allows me to give all the downloadable stuff away for free. Okay guys so have a little think about that. You can also catch us on Patreon as well. So let's take a little look in here. I've created a new scene for just audio because I like to keep all my scene, uh, my, all my audio nested in one scene. And I've got my game sound and my microphone that you can see just here. And what we wanted to get out of this is for the volume to go up and down and to just have as much control as possible. Uh, in this example, I'm going to just show how to mute it. Um, but rather than just turning it off, as you can see there, it will actually slowly fade it out for the, the stream and it will sound a little bit more professional rather than cutting in and out. So we want to open up Leoran board. If you've not seen my tutorials on how to get started on Leoran board, check them out just up there, okay guys? It's really easy to get on with and it's a great piece of software. It's my favorite at the moment. I've created a deck here. You can do that by pressing add new deck. I've called it audio faders. The two buttons there are just deck navigational to go from the previous deck and to the next deck. I'm gonna create a new button, blank button here. I'm gonna call it vol down. And you can do this for whatever sources you want. I'm just going to do it for game sound for now. So I'm going to right click it and press add command. I'm going to add the command and we're going to look for source. So you can type in this box motion, oh, motion, and we're going to go volume. So it's already built in there. Click on source and you can see the sources here. If you've got a lot of sources, you'll have a massive list. You can actually start typing the one you want. So I want game sound. So that one just there. And the start volume, well, it's on 100 at the minute because it's full. I want it to end on zero. We could have that set to any other number as well, which I'll demonstrate later. I'm going to put it on for two seconds. So that's 2,000 milliseconds. Press done. I'm going to create another one. But what I could do is copy that button and paste it in there. Rename it to volume up. This is, Again, this is just an example. You can do it differently if you like. Press edit, and we want the start volume to be zero, because it'll be down, and then volume to end on 100. Again, same source, everything like that. Press done, press done again. Now we need to open the Stream Deck um, app, so you can actually control it. So open that up in here. It might take a second to load. And just keep an eye out on the game sound bar at the bottom here. I'm just going to make sure that's opened. There we go. Took a second. I've opened two now. Love it. Um, getting impatient there. Press connect. I'm going to go previous. And you can see volume down. If I press that, it starts sliding down really smoothly. Press volume up. Goes back up. Simple as that. That's how to create a bit of a fader. We can take it one step further because you you might not have you might have your microphone turned down just so you're not peeking. So you might have it on like minus 8.3 decibels. Uh, what we need to do right now is go back into Leoran board. I'm going to shut this one down. Audio faders. I'm going to create a new one of these. I'm going to copy it uh, for now and paste it here. And copy that up as well and paste that there. So th this one's going to be volume up and down for mic. We'll use the mic as an example. Uh, change this one as well to mic just so we know. And I'm going to edit the commands on the volume down. So you can see the game sound starting at 100. We want to change that to the mic. So it's microphone because that's the source there. 
Uh, but it's not starting at 100. So we need to find out what that is starting at. So let's create another command there. Press the plus. And we're going to put this above this command. And we're basically going to pull some information. So we're going to type in pull. And we want to pull the source value. The scene that we're on is audio. Again, you can type in there to narrow down your scenes. Your source is going to be the microphone. And the variable, we're going to call this current underscore mic underscore vol i just like to make names because uh, you can create the name it can be anything you want in there it's just that is kind of my setup I, I use a lot of underscores and stuff it helps me just put real names and know where i am i don't know it's just personal preference and we're going to pull the volume you can pull anything in here and i'm going to show you some other stuff with that at later date so make sure you are subscribed we're going to press volume and that's going to basically pull the current volume and then now we need to use this variable and say the start volume is going to be slash dollar sign current mic vol dollar sign slash and it's going to end at zero take two seconds to do that hit done we're going to do the same again but this time um rather than messing about we can uh, press uh, edit commands and the start volume is going to be zero and the final volume is going to be slash dollar sign current mic vol dollar sign slash on microphone i was just going to copy and paste it in there but i thought i might as well just do it press done press done again and then now when i use it if you watch the microphone volume down a mic it'll start there rather than setting it to 100 volume back up rather than that going full it goes back to the original position that it was at so if i change this position now to full and go volume down it'll start at that full volume volume back up it'll go back up to the top if I moved it down to right down, say it's a really quiet source like that, press the volume down, it'll go down. Volume back up. Super easy to do. So that's pretty much all there is to it to get started creating faders. You can do that on many different sources as you want. You can have it just to set to go down a set percentage. Like I say, I'm going to deep dive further into this topic because I think it's something that not enough streamers are using to make themselves just sound that little bit more professional without having to spend an absolute penny. It's all free software. So hopefully you, you've got to grips with that. Let me know if you've got any problems in the comments below or come and join us on Discord. I uh, will be sharing it, all my download links are on there as well. And also like the video, also subscribe because subscribing doesn't cost anything and it helps the channel out massively. Much love. Put your rock over the stone. I just want to say a huge thanks to all my patrons that help make me make this content full time, make it free for you guys. And also a huge thanks to all my YouTube members. You, you guys are legends. Thank you so much for everything that you do for me and the community. Keep it up, guys.